So the tears have a new single out this week. It's called Refugees. There is an album coming in June as well, so, and uh, we thought we should get them in. And they are here next door. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? How are you doing? Good. We got the football on the TV for them because yeah. they need to. So if anything goes horribly wrong um, oh. during the song, it's because uh, Chelsea have scored against Liverpool, right? Or Brett's well, manager appears as the pundit. Yeah, right. no, it's, um, <laughs> uh, we're our keyboard players are li- a Liverpool fan, so okay. we're hoping that there isn't going to be a goal in the next five minutes. Either way, probably it because he told bit, me it might if, sound a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, he said even if Liverpool do score, that might make him go haywire as well. Exactly. It's a snooker not on the other side, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to play for us first of all. Uh, we'll Speak play refugees. Movies. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. music from the tears tonight on xfm refugees the single is out this week go by it's looking good for a nice little chart position on sunday i hear uh yeah it's kind of doing all right at the moment okay but, that's know. good that's good yeah. still nil nil by the way on the football okay all right just right. updating you so um you two uh brett and bernard got back together in like two end of 2003 was that was the first meeting virtually since uh since bernard had left suede right yeah it's the first time we'd spoken for nine years and you, yeah. there'd been no contact at all during that period no. I used to see him in William Mill all the time, but I didn't want to say anything, you know, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Were there actual times where you did sort of see one another in the same room wherever and ignore each other, though, or did it just no, never happen? No, it wasn't like that. I, I, I was aware of Bernard being in the same room. There was some film premiere, and someone, after I'd left, I said, someone said, oh, did you see Bernard there? And I said, no, mm. I didn't. 
I was selling the ice creams. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> he but he got that bad. He never bought one. It was a, it was a premiere of a porno <laughs> film. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you, uh, the, the story that I heard, uh, Brett, was that you called Bernard straight after the, the last Suede gig when you said that, you know, you, that had gone as far as it could. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I called him quite soon after that, but I, I'd sort of been thinking about it for a while, so it wasn't so sort of, like, cold-hearted as that, really. Was, th was the idea of, of eventually getting back together, of you two getting back together, always at the back of, of both of your minds? Because a lot of people are surprised, but I, I get the impression it's not that surprising to you too. Um, I think, you know, probably if you'd have asked us in, it depend, depends when you you would have asked us, if you'd mm. have asked us in 1994, we would have both said, not in a million years, mm. ever. And if you'd have asked us in sort of like 2002, we'd probably gone, mm, maybe. Yeah. Mm. What about you, Bernard, when you heard that, uh, that, that Suede were finishing, were you almost like expecting to get a call and, and, and discuss maybe doing something in the future? Well, yeah, because somebody asked my, his, uh, asked to give him my phone number. <laughs> 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 it's either that or he wanted some tips on the racing. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the meeting because I remember we do like a music news feature daily on on this show and we reported like, just after it happened that you two had been seen together in a London pub having a pint and a conversation and we were all thinking like, oh, this was supposed to be some sort of secret thing and we've blown the lid on it. Did you kind of it set it up to it be was like that? It was supposed to be secret. And <laughs> right. We, we made the mistake of getting really drunk and going to some sort of bar, this place called Shuttleworths, and like there was just a load of indie <laughs> kind of kids in there. That's a great place though. Sort of indie city, Arizona. At us and right. We, we would, our, our judgment was a bit clouded by beer, so. So yeah. did you meet up originally, have a little bit of a drink, have a bit of a conversation, then go, right, we should carry on elsewhere, and then the, it was like suddenly. No, the first pub we went to, there was a business party. Right. And we were the only people there who weren't for the office party. We were right. standing in the corner. Yeah. It's true. And it's you went out very, for a, it's not very romantic. You went out for a curry afterwards, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. And then was it, it was literally nice. was it li was it? <laughs> yeah, it was nice. It was a place called Diwana in Drummond Street. All right, really so really nice it's sort of Shuttleworth vegetarian curry. Okay, yeah. so Shuttleworth's on Charing Cross Road and Diwana on Drummond Street. Yeah. This is these are yeah. the kind of the, the birthplaces of the tears. Yeah, yeah. in a way. If All right. Want, if you want to, yeah. One yeah. day there'll be a plaque. Yeah, plaques on the like wall. A yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you C get did you commemorative chapati? That <laughs> sort of thing. Don't <laughs> form a band here. <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> did you get straight to writing straight after that drunken night out? Where you'd straight back you're like, right, let's meet up, you know, in a few days' time and, yeah, and get, well, put some ideas together. Bernard came over to my house like two days later and brought me the music that became Refugee. So mm -hmm. it was kind of straight. Quite straight away, really. And was the was the creative sparks, you know, there immediately as soon as you sort of sat down and started collaborating again? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we wrote the album pretty quick. We wrote the album, you know, we had the album recorded, uh, sorry, written and recorded within a year of meeting each other up for the f for the first w meeting up with each other. So, mm. you know, yeah, it was it was pretty good. We worked pretty fast, and you know. Yeah, it's good. And w w I guess w once Bernard the gone, Brett, you were kind of the guy that was was running Suede. Maybe people s sort of speculate now you're back together again. There might be sort of when you're creating stuff, there might be a little bit of, um, you know, the, the uh, you competing with one another to, to to make material that is then better at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, I think that's good though. I think it's good to have a bit of sort of healthy competition and, mm. and to have someone sort of like have this sense of challenging and pushing each other. I think that's really good. I think when one person has too much control. Uh, you know, it gets a bit. I don't know. It's not good. I think mm -hmm. it's always good. Good to have bit, to be pushed. And with the benefit of, of of age, it being like ten years on since you two first worked together, is there a lot of bands when or, or, or members of bands when they get back together again? They always say that being a little bit more mature helps you work together. Is that the, is that the case for you? Yeah, is it? But it sounds really boring. I mean, we, I'd like. I wouldn't, don't want to think that we're sort of doing this because you know. I mean, it's like because we're able to. You know, it's, it's, it just sounds really dull. Mm. You know, there's there's still a real kind of like you know youthfulness to what we're doing and a and a and a, and a real excitement about what we're doing. You know, mm. we're still we're really really enjoying doing this and playing live and and it feels like sort of starting again. It really does. Mm. It doesn't feel cynical in any way. It feels really exciting. Well, musically, it, it all sounds really fresh. But I meant like more mature as people or more grounded as personalities. Well, so the, the old problems don't arise. Yeah, I mean, you kind of like, le you, you learn from your mistakes, hopefully, don't you? But then again, you live, you never learn, though. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. are you going to play for us next? Uh, we're going to play a song off the album called Autograph. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
And the smell of cigarettes is in your head There's a sound of shouts outside the hotel room Like the night before when cameras flattered you And if we don't have a future If our lives split like shattered bits of glass Painted many different shapes But now the moon's turned complex and all to you There's just the smell of cigarettes left in the room Live music tonight on XFM from The Tears. You'll get their track on the album called Here Come The Tears, which is coming out on the 6th of June. The uh, debut single from that, Refugees, is out this week. The Tears special guest tonight on uh, Music Response. Who else is, is in the band? Because obviously all the, all the attention at the moment is, is on, the, on you two. Who else have you got? Because there's no other old members of Suede playing with you in this outfit, right? No, there's not. Um, <laughs> uh, well, Nathan is on bass mm -hmm. over there. There he is. That's his real voice. <laughs> uh, Mako is on drums. Mako, do something. Bang the drum. Uh. Hit a drum just to prove you exist. There you go. There you go. It's <laughs> a live drama. He speaks through his percussion. <laughs> and there's Will on keyboards. All right, okay. And he speaks through his keys. There you go. <laughs> Has it been, uh, was it a, 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 a something that you laid down very early uh, on that you weren't going to play any suede tracks when you played live and there weren't going to be any other members of, uh, of suede in this band to make it a, well, a fresher thing? It's, it's, it's the tears. It's a different band, you mm. know. It's, uh, okay, it's me and Bernard, but, you know, it's very important for us, to, for it not to turn into a kind of karaoke experience. Yeah. You know, we, make, we made a new record, um, which we really proud of and we want to play that and we have no interest in playing this way so yeah did you feel pressure when you were writing this though that there was a whole back catalogue that you had to live up to with this new this new band and this new project yeah absolutely yeah i mean we did i mean one of the sort of things that first things we said to each other was look unless this is really good then let's not do it mm. you know what i mean it wasn't you know it, it wasn't a case of oh let's do it whatever the cost it was like a case of it's got to be great otherwise yeah. there's no point I mean, we're not scared of that at all i mean you know that's the, the you know the whole reason for not playing suede songs and everything if we thought our new songs were rubbish then mm. either we wouldn't be doing it or we would have to do that yeah but these can stand up on their own so there's no need to do that right i think so yeah yeah, yeah. 
Now, one of the quotes that uh, that Brett gave us was, "I need to do whatever it takes to get my demon back." That was sort of like what you said at the at the, at the end of Suede. Is is this it? Is 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 getting Birda back? Getting he, your demon he'd back? Es- he'd escaped from his little cage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah. I mean, I, I, f- I feel pretty excited about what we're doing now. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, if that mi- if that means getting my demon back, then yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. And are you two friends again now? No. <laughs> No. Nah. God's sake. Can't stand each other. Heaven forbid. Do you know <laughs> Who what? Is we, ca- friends? we can't stand being in the same room. Yeah. Uh, your listeners don't realise we're actually in separate um, <laughs> cities. <laughs> yeah, recording this via a satellite link. What's more important is the problems between Nathan and Will at the moment. Yeah. My God. <laughs> the stories that are going to come out there, the gossip there. It's just going to be are they friends? Aren't they friends? Will they touch each other? Will they be seen in the same room? Interviewed in the same room? As for Mako. God, no one goes near him at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, the... uh the... just scratch the surface on this band. <laughs> the album, Here Come the Tears, is out 6th of June. Refugees out this week. What's happening with, with, with live stuff? I know you've done some shows uh, just recently. You're going back out again once the album's out? Yeah, I mean, we we just come off a, a really good UK tour. Um, we didn't do a London date, but we've got a London London date coming up, Shepherd's Bush, in May or something like that, end mm-hmm. of May. Which is going to be great. Can't wait. Okay. All right. Well, good luck with trade it. shop on Friday. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You're yeah, turning yeah, up at the rough trade shop to yeah. sign the single, right? No, we're playing live. Oh, you're playing in yeah, there yeah, as well. Yeah. And it's going to be come sweaty down. and intimate. Yeah. Okay. All but, right. You know. Please it's come. Be good. <laughs> and it's what's that? Five thirty? Can I is just five thirty? Can, can I just make a request? Anyone that comes along, yeah. can you make? Can they make sure they gargle with mouthwash before they come? Because I'm probably going to be able to smell their breath because they're going to be so close to me. Okay. I don't want anyone in the front row with bad breath. All right. So can you check your hygiene before you turn up to rough trade? I'm a bit obsessed with with breath you see that's a that's a real no-no for me okay people with bad breath no all right now, now you know there's so no dress code there you go. but yeah, you need to use there's, mouthwash there's no dress code but there's a breath code <laughs> all right <laughs> thanks for coming in tonight thanks, thanks a lot much.
the one that I'm feeling.